feels like there's a bit of a glow about the place, particularly after the performance like that. Is it like that in there? I think the um, you take confidence and belief from winning games. That's what it is. It, I, I've got to be, admit, it doesn't seem any different today than it did last Monday, though. It just seems like there's a good feeling about it and there's a good spirit amongst there. And um, I think, I hope there's a determination to want to keep it as well. When it clicks, when the fans are doing their bit, the players are doing their bit, it's just great. That is, yeah. I mean, I've said this before, when when we get this place rocking and we get the performances and we get the fans going as well, it's a, it's a good place to be. And at the moment, it is a good place to be. You know, even the, the fans that we're taking away from home when we're getting our numbers travelling, it's a, it's a proper atmosphere. And the players are responding to that. So whatever comes first, whether it's the support or the players or the players leading the sport, I don't really care. Let's just keep it. Division's top scorers, that doesn't happen by accident. Well, I didn't know that, so thank you for letting me know about that. No, that's brilliant. Um, you know, we, we, We've been consistent with that. I mean, I know everybody talks about Deno because he's on 17, but we're chipping him from all over the place, and that's a really pleasing thing. I would have loved Joel to have got that one that, that the keeper saved the other night. Uh, I think he already saw his name in the newspaper and was celebrating before he put it in the back of the net. But no, it's good. We've just got to keep everybody right, keep everybody going, tick each game off as they come along and make sure we keep keep moving forward. I think you highlighted it way back in June, July, that if you do it right at home, things build off it. We're very hard. It's, I think it's only Orient who've managed to, to, to crack that particular egg. Yeah, it is. Um, and Orient are a good side. Um, and they got some great assistance, assistance from four officials on that day as well when... Uh, We've had two apologies about that um, for the, not getting a penalty and for their winning goal. So who knows, may have been different. Um, no, we've, we've had a good record at home and we've just got to make sure we keep going. We've got, obviously, we're away from home this weekend. Another tough game, another team that's going to be fighting for their lives after going bottom of the table. Um, but it's a game that we should look forward to. We, we, we do what we did with Hartlepool. We totally respect the opposition, but make sure we take the belief that we've earned um, from our performances and the way we've gone about the first 20 odd games and um, try and put on a performance that gets the three points again. Have you seen any puff chests and good attitudes from the back of this in that dressing room? I'm certainly seeing a lot of smiles um, and I'm certainly seeing a lot of players who are determined to stay part of it and also to get a, get into the, the 18 and that's all we can ask. I mean, I, what I don't want is an arrogance, I don't want a cockiness about it, I just want a calmness. We, we go and we, we treat people with respect and if we win, we're respectful of the opposition, just like I would hope that other teams are respectful if they win. Um, but we've just got to keep doing our job right. We talk all the time about if you do your job right, the rest of it takes care of itself. Um, people are saying to me, oh, if you win and Northampton lose, there's too many ifs and buts. We can only affect our game. We do our game properly. I don't even know where Northampton are this weekend because I'm not bothered. It's about us. We just have to do our, our job right. I want to go on a proper run of wins. I don't, don't want a stop start. We get a couple of good results and then a bad one and then we have to start all over again. We need consistency and if we're going to hit it, this is the time to get it. It's that run of, of wins that you want, isn't it? You've done two a couple of times, we haven't yet done three. Make it four and all of a sudden you can start thinking, hey, these points are coming. Well, that's where it's different. you know. And Years and years ago when it was two points a win, it, it could stay close for a long time. Now you get a run of wins and get take those three points and it can make a big difference. And I, I'm pleased that we've had so many draws and not, not defeats out of those. It would have been so nice if we could have turned a couple of those draws into wins and those extra two, four, six points, whatever it might have been, could make the whole table a lot different. That said, I am certainly not complaining about where we are because I think we're, we're certainly ahead of where I expected to be. Um, whether we're ahead of where the players expected to be, I don't really know. Um, but their challenge is to make sure we stay at least in fourth, who knows, going up even higher. It feels like that competition for places is a big part of what's going on out there. Mm, I think so. I think there's been um, there's been like a step up in levels over the last few weeks with, with bringing um, Alfie and Jack and, and JK and then and Joe into the building. It's certainly boosted everybody's energy levels and uh, given us a bit of a bit of freshness about the group. Um, the lads who were here for the first part, those loan signings in Duncan and Sonny and Jack Stretton, they played their part in it as well. Um, they've now moved on, they've gone, gone to their own clubs or to other clubs. 
it's about what we've got now it's about this group of players doing everything they possibly can to make it a really good finish to the season but also a hell of a summer and again it sounds like that lad, the lads who aren't getting the 18 are managing themselves pretty much at the moment that must be good for you yeah they're managing themselves um, in terms of the psychological stuff and the disappointment that goes with it but we're also managing them in terms of their fitness you know there was three who missed out the other night they went straight in the gym as soon as I'd named the bench they went in the gym and did some work and then they've done some extra work with and all the work with the group today but then done extra afterwards um, the boys who didn't get on on Tuesday night they did runs on the pitch afterwards so we're trying as well as we can to manage the training loads so that we're all as close to being on an even level I know it's not physically possible to, to simulate what they would do in a game but we try and top them up so they've just got to be patient I've spoken to the new lads today um, just to check in that everything's all right so far but also to people like Alfie and Jack who, who've only had a little well, Jack hasn't had any minutes yet but Alfie's had a couple of little roles just to say be patient and just wait for your opportunity don't get screwed up about it when I brought them in I didn't guarantee they were going to play because I would never do that um, they've got to earn the right, and when they do get it, hopefully they take that chance. I was with JK this morning when he walked in. He literally goes around everybody in the dressing room, fist taps them and says hello. I mean, for a young man mm -hmm. to be settling the way he is, that says a lot about him and his club. I think so. Yeah, yeah. He's, um, he's really surprised me um, in a pleasant way because he's, I um, don't know if I can say this, but he's shown, shown some balls out there, um, being able to compete like he has done and, it, he's, he's had a physical presence about him and he's done so much work out of possession which I'll tell you the truth I didn't bring him in for his out of possession so I brought him for his in possession work but he's, he's shown a great attitude to his work and um, that, that for me was one of the highlights of the other night we could talk about Joe Garner's tackle which unfortunately I know Manyasi has, has, has broken his ankle which is I, I really feel for the guy um, it was a, I thought it was a really strong fair tackle um, and, and he's picked up an injury but that challenge and JK making recovery tackles and winning balls back, that's what sets the tone for the rest of the team. So long may that continue. Hopefully it rubs off on everybody else and everybody else wants a bit of that energy to, to do the recovery stuff and uh, we keep moving on. No, I feel like we need to, to, to churn through the injury stuff with you. You made that quite clear. Is there any other niggles from the other night or any, any added to the list? No, no, there's a couple of things that we did pick up, but nothing that's going to keep anybody out of this weekend's game. And the, I expect, I've been told, that we'll all train tomorrow. There's a couple missed out on training today, but um, did the recovery, but didn't come out on the grass to do anything. But that's not a concern. They will be fit for the weekend. And um, it's up to us to go and have the same level of intensity, same level of performance and hopefully the same type of result. Same with the transfer window, you've made that clear where we are, but with the likes of the young lads, Bell, Fishburn and Max Kilsby, uh, they're, they're staying out I believe. Yeah, they are, we've, we've agreed with the three clubs for them to stay, They've been. it's been a, a good loans for them so far, they're all getting minutes, uh, they're all showing that they're, what they're capable of doing in senior football, so we think it's the best place for them, we've got the best of both worlds because they're with all clubs being on our doorstep, the, the, the lads are coming in and, and still doing the full-time training. So we're seeing that, we're seeing how they develop, we're watching the games on, on the, the games when they come through to us. Um, so we've got an eye on them. Um, I don't, as a city and now, I don't expect anybody else to be leaving the building. Um, I did say the other week, maybe Gabe might go out if, if the right loan opportunity comes up, but that hasn't come up. Um, Scott Simon's picking up his injury and being out for an, a, quite a number of weeks after surgery puts a bit of a blocker on that as well um, because we I, I can't afford to take a chance of, of if I get an injury to one keeper of just running with one senior goalkeeper. So we're just going to have to assess that, see how that goes. Um, but hopefully there'll be nothing else to, that I need to talk about. Rochdale are having a really tough time. They're holding up the pile at the moment. I wouldn't have expected to see them there. No, not at all, because um, I think they're a good football inside. Even watching them now, I still think they're a good football inside. Um, they've got three really good midfield players, all good on the ball, all comfortable in possession. They've got you know, forward players in Quigley who caused chaos here when they drew 3-3 with um, uh, Ron Rodney, who's you know, good athlete who who can cause problems with his legs, and Henderson's just got a fantastic goal scoring record. So, uh, it is a surprise. Um, I don't know the reasons why they're down there. I also know though that 
it can turn very quickly um, you just have to look at our results last February it can turn very quickly on the back of one positive result and we've got to make sure that positive result doesn't come this weekend um, I like Jim as a manager I think he's a real top fella um, I just hope he's not very happy at the end of Saturday unfortunately for him Jim has been so used to it with Markham every year scrapping and scrapping to stay in divisions he knows that the job so he could not so much spring a surprise, but if he gets the lads going, we'll we have to be careful. Oh, he, he knows he's experienced in that. I mean, he's experienced of having teams up at the top of the table as well. So and I'm quite sure when he went in, he wasn't expecting it to be like this. But they've they've had a bad run. Um, you know, we saw the game last weekend at Hartlepool. Um, they got a couple of sendings off, which won't do them any, any good at all. And that's the thing that happens when you're down there. People, players get desperate, players... Get, make daft tackles, daft decisions, and it costs you. Um, and this weekend, we're going to have to make sure that of all of the, the scrapping and fighting and whatever else they want to do to try and get a result, we've got to keep our composure, keep our discipline, and make sure we play our way that does enough to get a result. I always think back to your first game on this second spell here for you, that it's Orient, we're in 10 minutes, whatever it was, Marzi scores. It all changes, and that's how, how quick it is in football. Momentum swings so quickly, it really does, and you you just need you need something. We had it on Tuesday night where you're going into a game where they're coming in buoyed by a result at the weekend. We've not played for a while, and then you get a good start with a good delivery from a set play, a, a, a goal poacher's instinct to get across the near post, and you nick a goal, and suddenly they're on the back foot. We're, we've got a bit of momentum. We've got to make sure that we we do the same again on Saturday, and we we are. If any team gets momentum, it's us, and they're they're in the doldrums. We've got to make sure we get all over them, make it a really difficult afternoon for us. I would imagine, knowing what our fans are like, we are going to be backed by an incredible sport this week, and uh, I love coming out of that tunnel and seeing our fans at the far end. I think back to the year that, that we were champions in League Two and coming out there and seeing that that side packed. I don't think we'll be far off that again this weekend. Um, we've got to make sure that we do everything we can to make it a real good afternoon. And at the end, we're all going and applauding them for the right reason. That's the afternoon. We're on 1,200. It could be anything. Who knows? We could. Who knows? I'm not even going to guess. But that is a, a response to what's happening on the pitch. Oh, it is definitely. Yeah, yeah. The players, um, the players have earned that that right to be backed by that number of supporters because of the way they've gone about it. Now what they have to do is make sure they keep earning it as well, keep doing the things properly, keep doing what we've done for, for 26 games. This is game number 27 and we've just got to make sure mentally we're prepared for it. Um, I've said to them today, you know, normally we would just go and do a recovery session and it'd be a nice easy day. I've took them all out on the grass today because I said it is so important that we get our heads on that this has to be done properly. There's no let up, you'll get days to rest. In this little batch of games with Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, there's no rest here. This is work. We, we've got to do everything we possibly can to earn results, keeps us in a good position. And then when the time's right, they'll get an extra day off and they'll get an extra rest period. But now is get your football heads on, get get ready to go and have a right good go to pick up three points at Rochdale. Oh, doing it properly, that message must be sinking in, Paul, because from Denno with Hoskins at the top of the goal scoring charts to Mox leading the created chances and assists and all of the other players who are getting into these stats charts as, as leaders mm. that all comes together to be a successful team yeah it does and it's you know they, they'll get the plaud it's Deno you know I think I heard Deno got man of the match the other night over the Tannoy and, and, and Mox did getting his creative stuff but it's built on a back three defending for their lives a goalkeeper coming taking crosses the other night two wing backs working their socks up and down that line Callum Guy making that holding screening role a really positive one, not only breaking things up, but, but finding passes forward, forward players who are causing problems. And all in all, it's a, it's a strong group that's allowing individuals to get those plaudits, but we have to keep going. You know, there's, there's 18 involved on Tuesday, three of them sat out. Jack Ellis hopefully will be back in a week or two. Two more who've had surgery coming back in maybe, I don't know how many weeks, I'm not even gonna guess, but whenever they've all got to keep right they've just got to keep pushing each other driving standards it's up to me and the rest of the staff to keep driving the standards and hope that the players keep listening and just finally when are you going to let us all get carried away um well i don't know what date's the last game of the season <laughs> maybe, maybe after sutton but um who knows we, there's a long long way to go we can turn so quickly 
um, I want it to turn even positively for us and I'm, in, I'm really enjoying it. I was thinking about this the other day when you, you said something to me about, you know, can we get excited and I think I said no, no we can, I, I am excited, I do like it, I'm, I'm really enjoying it but um, there's no party, there's nothing, there's nothing achieved yet, you don't get, you don't get medals or, or pats on the back after 26 games, you get it after 46 and that's what I want to do.